Hello, this is Raymond Aaron, New York Times top 10 best-selling author, but I'm here not to introduce myself, but rather to introduce another author. Tell us your name and the title of your book. Sammy Blindell, it's how to build a brand, the seven reasons why customers don't choose you. The seven reasons why customers don't choose you. Ooh, fear of loss. Oh my gosh, I better read your book. That's a great title, Thank great you. subtitle. Do people comment on your title and yeah, subtitle? Yeah, a lot. And we get a lot of searches as well. In fact, we launched out the, the book and within eight hours, it was number one on Amazon because it just because it's a highly searched for term. Yeah. And so it went straight to the top as well. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> To, even to the point that when I searched just the word brand, I started to come up under Russell Brand. So, <laughs> choose a keyword, you get found. Wow, so tell me what your problems in business were before you had a book. Uh, my main problem was not visibility, because obviously that's what we do. It was getting the information out of my head and having the confidence to to actually get it out into a book. So I came on this to, to have a structured way yeah. of taking my information. Would you agree with me yes. that yes. when yes. you, well, I haven't said it yet. <laughs> <laughs> You've got an eager crowd. <laughs> Would you agree that when you're writing something more personal to you, it's more challenging to get out than when you're working with a customer, yes or yes. no? Yes. yes, indeed. So that's why I did this, because sometimes you need someone to brand you, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And as a branding expert, I need somebody to help me brand myself Brilliant. you do every barber needs a barber every dentist needs a dentist mm -hmm. every therapist needs a therapist every the joke coach needs a coach. yes but the joke in the therapy world is you can't lie in your own couch <laughs> right? you everyone needs someone else to help them you'd think that if a divorce lawyer were sued for divorce he would say oh great I know how to do it but they don't they always get another divorce lawyer to do it mm -hmm. and so you decided you know how to do it, yep. but you needed somebody else to help you do the very thing you can do for other people. Absolutely. And that's absolutely that's true. That's key. It is really key. It is. You good. can't do everything yourself. Yes. Yeah. And you don't see the things in you that other people yeah. see in you. Yeah. So you need somebody else to highlight that sometimes. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. So the book came out. Did you have any miracles before the book even came out? Um, I, I, every day is a miracle, really. But the, the real miracle is when I sat at my, my computer just last weekend, and the amount of reviews, we had something like 37 reviews in 24 hours. I got three and a half thousand messages just last weekend that I had to answer on Facebook. I actually videoed it. I took a, a video of my screen because there were more messages coming into Facebook than I could handle. And as I was writing them, another one was coming in. It was going bing, 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 and my PA called me. She went, I've got to turn your Facebook off because it's going crazy. It was just, I had to turn the volume off because it was getting really annoying. But it you was just incredible. thousands of messages on Facebook. Just under three and a half thousand, just in three days. Wow. I've, I've got um, five opportunities to speak that are already in the diary. Just people that are asking. But those now. aren't it's opportunities. Just, those no, are no, no, firm they gigs. Are, they are firm gigs that have come through and I haven't answered them all yet. So it's just going through my diary and I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna fit all of this in? It's just How crazy. am I gonna fit in all my speaking engagements? <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, did if I would have asked you a year ago, yeah. if like how many speaking gigs did you have in your life before the book? I didn't do them for me before. I, if you've seen me, I do a lot of work for Andy Harrington, so I speak on his stage quite a lot. Uh, but we weren't talking for us. We were always helping him with his brand. We've helped him to build his brand as an international speaker. We weren't doing it for us. So at last, it's the light is ours, and it's time for us to shine them. That's wow! Wow! So she'd given lots of speeches, she knew how to give speeches, she was trained well how to give speeches, yes. but she just polished other people's brands, but she didn't think she could polish her own, or she didn't have a brand to polish, or her self-esteem, or her fear was in the way. But now that you have the book, that elevated you to the point where you're now proud enough and you've overcome mm. your fear sufficiently that you can actually talk about yourself. And so these speaking gigs are for you. Yeah. As we say in France, I live in France now because of the lifestyle that I have, it's all online. We say, absolutely flipping <laughs> <laughs> It's usually a bit stupid.
Yes, yes I get it. <laughs> yes. So I, I don't even know what else to ask you. If you'd like to finish with something, your your story's miraculous. Mm, I, I think that um, it's easy to think that you can do it all yourself. And if you're a perfectionist like me, uh, you don't ever get that information out there and you put others before yourself, which is what I've been doing my entire life. And it's your time to shine now. And if you haven't invested in the top end of the program so that you do have somebody that is coaching you and nudging you along to get that perfectionism out of the way, move yourself out of the way and have somebody else help you to achieve it, then the success is yours. It's your decision and you can make that now. And thank you for your dedication to your ongoing self-education. <laughs>